welcome to my channel please subscribe like share and press the bell icon to stay connected and notified thank you pain is often the major reason why people visit physician or physiotherapist biological pain killer part 1 in this particular video we'll explore the endogenous opioids so let's begin the video opiates are among the oldest drugs known to mankind have been used medically for thousands of years for the relief of pain and sedation they are the natural extracts of poppy plant that is nothing but papaver somniferum the botanical name it reduces the pain by binding to opioid receptors in the central and peripheral nervous system the search for endogenous ligands for these receptors led to the discovery of two closely related pentapeptides in human body hence by this discovery humans got to know that brain has its own morphine for those who don't know what it is its endogenous opioids are a class of molecules that are produced in the brain and circulate widely throughout all organ systems and are neurotransmitters or neuromodulators that act by changing the electrical properties of other target neurons thereby making these neurons difficult to excite the endogenous opioid system includes a large number of opioid peptides that are ligands for numerous types of opioid receptors opioid receptors are nothing but a tiny parts on nerve cells Opioid receptors exist in the following parts of the body immune cells pituitary gland skin gastrointestinal tract since the opioid receptors appear so commonly throughout the body they can control many bodily functions so let's see what are they what are those opioid peptides are of three categories three types they are endorphins second enkephalins and three dynorphins and what are the opioid receptors they are mu receptors delta receptors and kappa receptors so opioid peptides where it bonds linked with the opioid receptors the results is like this like endorphins when it binds with the mu receptors it causes the pain relief mood changes physical dependence and respiratory changes and it when binds with the delta generally the endorphins has an affinity of binding with the mu and delta receptors so mu receptors as we have seen these are the changes appears in body and when it binds with the delta receptors you can see the regulation or switching of a mode happens in the body so when enkephalins binds enkephalins binds generally with delta receptors and, it, and when it binds with the delta receptors it causes regulation switching of mode dynorphin binds with the kappa receptors and it causes the relief pain relief dysphoria and an increase urination so these are the uh, reactions you can see when these opioid peptides are bind with these receptors opioid receptors in the body endorphins has a powerful pain killer properties as we have seen already has the reason why there is an absence of pain in people who have sustained severe trauma at road site in accidents as in the response to the stressful stimuli of injury causes the release and action of endorphin and in specifically the beta endorphins in addition the release of endorphins or enkephalins may also account for the euphoria as experienced by the long distance runners an example that we generally refer to as a runner's high 
to know the mechanism of pain separation and how physical therapy modalities helps in that watch the second part of biological painkiller video